welcome back in this session aws rds uh, rds is the database service that uh, aws provides uh, this uh, relational database service so let's have a quick look what is the rds and what kind of service aws provides uh, rds is a relational database services as i told that it manages the uh, database service uh, it will be uh, automatically the application of your uh, high for your reliability in ability zone uh, it takes automatic uh, snapshot for your backup data you can configure it uh, it takes the automatically security upgrade so no need to uh, worry about the uh, database uh, deployed where it do the security patches so it will take the aws side so aws uh, do the regular security patches update and uh, easily instant scaling so that's a very quick and very bigger thing so you uh, no need to worry about the uh the scaling of your database you just have to configure it will do the automatically instant scaling so what kind of aws rds database uh, provides it's giving the mysql database uh, mariadb postgre sql my microsoft sql and oracle so this many services aws provides so you can choose any of them for your use for the personal database services there are also uh, supported for the no sql database that's uh, DynamoDB, so it is also uh, used for the some of the uh, complex case where the, you can use the application based uh, load scaling. So th there are the two different uh, database service. For the one is the SQL, one is the NoSQL. So SQL you can use uh, any of these, and NoSQL having the some of different options. So that also we will see in our session. So we will going to create MariaDB instance in our demo session. So what resource we are going to create? Let's have a look. We will be create the subnet group, and the subnet group basically where we have to deploy our database service. Parameter group, parameter group will be configured for the uh, configuration of the database settings, and then we will create the security group. Security group will be applicable for the inbound traffic. We will not expose our database service to the public, but we will expose our database service internally. At last, we will create the RDS instance. Let's see the resource. What resource we are going to create? See, this is the D, uh, DB parameter group where we are creating the one parameter group. Then we will create the subnet group. So in subnet group, we will pass in the two subnet. In this two, this two subnet, it will be deploy the instance of database service. It will not deploy instance if there is a the, uh, private underscore three subnet. It will only install in one and two. Then the instance security group. So security group will be used for the allowing the port. So here I have taken the port which is the use for the database service that double three zero six will be allow. And here I have not given any uh, in input uh, IP. So you can see here I have passed the input security group. So this security group, uh, wherever this security group pass, that instance allowed to access this port. So this security group is actually passed to the uh, our instance, and this instance will be allowed to access this database service. That we'll see in our configuration part. And this is the last. That's a DB instance. You can see this DB instance where we given the space allocated storage, or how many storage we require, storage type, engine. Uh, which engine type we require so here i have given the mariadb engine version uh, instance class so taken the db uh, dbt to micro for our uh, demo section because it's free uh, then name and the username and password so password i have given the just for the demo purpose you can choose your password and give the your root password this is a database password where you have to configure your database and you have to connect your database then giving the parameter group which we have created in different resource and the subnet group so i pass the reference here subnet group reference and uh, you can see the vpc uh, security group so this security group also we have given the reference over here which we have created in the different resource and the availability zone so i have created the availability zone here subnet uh, private underscore one availability zone you can give the multiple availability zone here uh, at last output i have given the uh, endpoint url for output here and this will be used for the connection of our db from the instance so let's have a look how to uh, create instance in our demo section 